GPS trackers like AirTags can do a lot of good by transmitting your location in real time to loved ones. But they can also be used by criminals to track victims without them even knowing a tracker was placed. Yeah, in fact, there's a brand new law that's about to go into effect. It would make it a felony to track someone without their knowledge. Our Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman has been looking into this, spoke to local law enforcement along with a nonprofit today, and he joins us now with that. Jim, whether you're traveling on a highway like this or sitting at home, a hidden tracker could be sending your location to people with bad intentions. But starting Tuesday, if you place a tracker on a person or their property without them knowing, you could find yourself in a jail cell for up to five years. Florida is working to stop people from using a tracking device without a person's consent or knowledge. Jamie Bonciancio says there are scary uses of hidden trackers, like stalking or even as a pathway to human trafficking. How simple it is now to be able to drop an air tag into somebody's purse, stick it under their car, drop it into their seat, anything like that to, to be able to track somebody is, is quite, you know, frightening. They can follow and track you and create a lifestyle, understand the inner workings of your lifestyle. Senate Bill 758, which would make using a tracking device without the person's knowledge a felony charge, becomes law Tuesday. We've seen a number of cases uh, over the years where um, domestic issues where like an ex-husband would install a tracker on the car. Uh, we've had some victims of stalking cases. Well, one of the reasons we don't see is a lot of times it goes undetected. You know, some of these devices are so small. You throw in the car, how would they ever know? And they may never know. Under the new law, this type of crime will be punishable by half a decade behind bars. This gives us a enhanced ability to uh, go after people that are illegally tracking. Illegally tracking uh, somebody, I mean, it not only violates their individual rights to privacy, but also presents a security issue for them. Some believe this law will effectively minimize the use of hidden trackers on unsuspecting people. Once you see a couple cases come out where uh, where people are getting charged with these uh, with a felony now, I think uh, once word gets out, I, I think you'll see uh, a reduction in these type of cases. I think it does make people think twice about doing something um, nefarious. But others are not so sure. Would somebody who wanted to stalk someone by way of illegally placing a tracking device not think twice? I, I'm not sure. But I do know that if we catch them, they'll have about five years in prison to think a lot more than just twice. Authorities say despite the change in the law, vigilance remains key to safety and anyone who suspects that they're being followed or monitored with a tracker they didn't consent to should alert local enforcement. In Martin County, Dylan Huberman, CBS 12 News. Medical records for both vice presidential nominees were improperly